Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. So today, uh, I will continue with the lecture still in uh, module 7. So this will be the second part of output. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, so we are still in the same slide. Alright, so this is my kind of reminder. You may need to use your earphones or earbuds for a better audio. Alright, so these are the objectives for this video. So I want to finish up my lecture on printers. Before this, I already cover on the non-impact printers. So this video will cover on the impact printers. Then uh, I want to focus on the purpose and features of speakers, headphones, earbuds, data projectors, uh, interactive whiteboards, post feedback game controllers, and tactile output. As well as the last one, I want to focus on various assistive technology input and output methods. So this is the continue uh, from the non-impact printer. Okay, so you have your mobile printer this time around. So a mobile printer is a small, lightweight, uh, battery-powered printer that allows a mobile user to print from a laptop, smartphone, or other mobile device while they are traveling, as you can see in the figure 735. So this is an example of a mobile printer. Then you have your label printer. So a label, a label printer is a small printer that uh, prints on an adhesive type material that can be placed on a variety of items uh, such as uh, envelopes, uh, packages, optical discs, uh, photos, as well as a five folder. So as you can see in figure 736, I believe you uh, normally it can be seen at a uh, post office or maybe uh, shopping malls. Okay, so they are most probably used by this kind of uh, user. Then let's move to plotter. So a plotter is a large, uh, sophisticated printer that are used to produce uh, high quality drawings such as uh, blueprints, uh, map, and uh, circuit diagrams. So these printers are used in a specialized field such as engineering, drafting, or architecture, which are usually they are very costly and not suitable for a home or student user. Then you have a large format printers. So these large format printers are used uh, to print a photo uh, realistic quality color uh, prints. Okay, and normally it is used in a much larger scale industry. Uh, graphic artists will use this kind of uh, high cost, high performance printer for signs, uh, posters, uh, and other professional quality displays. Now we finish with the non impact printer. Let's move to the impact printer. So, an impact printer, as you can see here, uh, form as uh, characters and uh, graphics on a piece of uh, paper by uh, striking a mechanism against. Uh, an ink ribbon that uh, physically contacts the paper. Okay, so these impact printers uh, characteristically are noisy uh, because of this striking activity. As you can see in the example of Figure Seven Thirty Eight. Okay, so this is how they been operate. So uh, industries like as such as uh, factories or manufacturing, uh, warehouses, and uh, retail counters normally will use impact printers because this kind of uh, printers, uh, they are able to withstand with dusty environments, vibration and uh, extreme temperature. So finish with printers, now let's look at uh, other output devices. Okay. So in addition to display and uh, printers, uh, other output devices are also available for specific users and applications. So this include uh, the speakers, uh, headphones, earbuds, data projectors, interactive whiteboard, post feedback game controllers, as well as tactile output. Now let's focus on the first one, which are speakers. So most personal computers and mobile devices have a small internal speaker uh, that usually uh, produce a low quality sound. Thus, 
to the user might attach a surround sound speakers or speaker system uh, to their computers to generate higher uh, quality sounds. Okay. So most uh, surround sound uh, computer speakers include uh, center speakers uh, and satellite speakers so that uh, sounds emit from all directions. In order to boost uh, the low bass sound, surround sound speaker system also include a subwoofer. Then we have headphones. So users uh, can listen uh, to headphones uh, or earbuds so that only the individual uh, wearing the headphones or earbuds hear the sound from the computer. So you won't disturb others. Okay. So first we have headphones. So headphones will, will cover uh, or uh, place outside of your ear as you can see in the figure 7 or 40. While uh, earbuds okay, will rest inside your ear canal. We have another type of uh, output devices, almost similar to headphones, that we call as headset. So a headset is a device that functions as both uh, headphones and microphones. Then we have a data projector. So a data projector is a device that projects the text, images, which display on a computer or mobile device, screen on a larger screen so that audience can see uh, the image clearly. I believe you are very popular with this kind of projector because they are normally uh, used in your class. So many classrooms use data projectors so that all students okay, easily can see the instructor presentation on the screen. So they have two types of uh, projector. The first one is LCD projector okay, that use a liquid crystal display technology. Okay, but the better uh, projector uh, beside LCD will be DLP projector that's uh, called as a digital light processing projector. So normally this kind of projector able to produce a clearer uh, image as compared to LCD projector. Then we have an interactive whiteboard. So this is a touch sensitive device resembling a dry erase board that display uh, the image on connected computer screen usually via a projector. Interactive uh, whiteboards are used uh, frequently in classroom as a teaching tool, uh, during meetings as a collaboration tool, or maybe to enhance delivery of presentation. Now, let's move to the other part of our boot devices. So we already discussed this kind of output devices during input because joystick, wheels, gamepad, and motion sensing controller are originally are input devices used to control the movements and actions of a player or object in a computer game. However, these devices also function as output devices when they include force feedback, which is a technology that sends resistance to the device in response to the action of the user as you can see in figure 7, 43. For example, if you use the uh, steering, okay, to a uh, steering wheel to play uh, games like racing of uh, uh, cars, for example, you might uh, feel the vibrations of the track or of your car. Now, let's look at the assistive technology input and output. The ever increasing uh, presence of computers in uh, everyone's life has generated an awareness of the need to address uh, computing requirements for those who have or may develop physical limitations. So besides voice recognition, which is very ideal for blind uh, or visually impaired users, uh, several other input options are available. So users with limited hand mobility uh, who want to use keyboard can use on a, uh, an on-screen keyboard uh, or a keyboard with larger keys. So users uh, with a limited hand uh, movement can use a head mounted uh, pointer uh, to control the pointer or insertion point as you can see in figure 744. However, for users with mobility, hearing or vision disabilities, many different types of output options are available. Hearing impact users, for example, can instruct programs to display words instead of sounds. Visually impact users can change screen settings such as increasing the size uh, or changing the color of the text to make the words easier to read. Another alternative is a Braille a printer which uh, prints information on paper in Braille. So this is an example of a Braille printer. So uh, 
uh, these are the a summary of the chapter of the module that I discussed from the previous uh, videos that I uh, shared with you. So this module basically presented a variety of options for input and output. So input options included keyboard, mouse, and other pointy devices, while output option included display, printer, speakers, and so on. Okay. So I'm using uh, my, the recommended textbook Discovering Computers 2018 by Verma and Al. Okay, so that's all for our module uh, 7 which focuses on input and output. See you again on the next module. Bye.